Hey everybody, so I am here to do Pintober Day 15 slash birthday haul. If you've been on my channel a little while, you know that I don't think I've ever done a haul video. And there's one reason for that. I don't feel like anybody cares about what I got. So I just don't really do that kind of thing. But since I had so many requests from it, this is what I'm going to do. I will preface the haul part of the video by saying that it was really cute. My girls, this was really their first ever birthday party. It's their fourth birthday, but it was really their first ever birthday party. So they kept opening the cards and going, look, a card, a card. They were so excited about the cards. I swear to you, people could have just bought birthday cards and called it good, but my kids are strange. They fit in well with this family. I'm gonna split this up <clears throat> into the pin and then into um, the haul. Day I've seen a lot, and I'll link it below, has been um, something about presents for kids. So we focused on the four gift rule. Something they want, something they need, something to wear, and something to read. So to read um, the Bob books. We got collection one. Our girls, I mean, this all a lot of this goes back to their history. Because our girls were just never exposed, they are a bit behind on letter recognition, number recognition, what does an A say, they know A, but what does every single letter say, that kind of thing. So I feel that they are a little bit behind from where I would like them to be in terms of reading. So we got Bob books. I've had great experiences with them. As you will figure out, I'm very into learning things. So something I knew they needed, going back to the Bob books, is the letter, number, recognition, um, sounds, all that kind of things. We got these Match It ABC tiles. Now every single tile, the um, puzzle piece to it is different. So A cannot be matched up with, you know, the ice cube picture. Counting. So um, they got these little shirts. I am four. I just thought that was so cute. So the little dress, it has, um, Veggies has an owl because she's super obsessed with owls. Um, and Bops has, they've got little pockets. And then Bops has like a little chickadee on it. One has kitties and it comes with this um, oh, polka dot sweatshirt. Long sleeve actually comes out. So it can be a summer or a folly type of dress. Um, veggies has little tiny owl pockets on it. Those little cats and the little owls on the Costco dresses are little pockets. So for present number four was something they wanted. Now, whenever you ask my kids what they want, they're not used to presents and the concept of what do you want for your birthday? So when we asked them what they wanted for their birthday, they said Batman and Dora, or they said, um, one of them at some point said sleep. I kind of went out on a limb and kind of got them something that we wanted to get them and we knew they would really like. Balance bikes. We got the Kazam one. I did a lot of research and I really wanted one that was going to be able to grow. We're going to do books. So my parents, 10 trick-or-treaters, spooky bus. It's like the most ridiculously short book but they love it because it makes sounds so one of the books is happy halloween stinky face five minutes novel stories these are from megan alley doodles silly sally this is one of my new favorite books and i was hoping that i was going to love it i saw it on amazon and I kind of went, you know, my kids could really benefit from that if it ends up being a good book. So I put it on their wish list and Megan Alley Doodles got it. It's called Beautiful Oops. I am in love with this book. Daughter Who Love to Hold Hands, The Nearsighted Giraffe, um, Pinkalicious, The Pinkerific Playdate, Pinkalicious, Puptastic. Now let's go for games. Honeybee Tree. And this game is basically Kerplunk for kids. It was, it's cute and they liked it. So I got Jenga, which somebody thought I was completely insane for putting Jenga on our wish list, but this is 
fantastic. It is working so well on their fine motor skills, their frustration skills, their coping skills. And even though I think it's like six, yeah, ages six plus, they loved this game. Hungry, hungry hippos, which again, frustration skills. I'm working on actually their gross motor, um, counting, lots of different skills for now. They got Operation Hoot Owl Hoot, which again, Veggie is super obsessed with owls, so she's loving it. Now this is a cooperative game. If you've never heard of the cooperative games, they're fantastic. Everybody who's playing wins or loses together. And so there's not one winner or one loser. Um, it's everybody works together to a common goal. So I'm really in love with that concept. Obviously not everything in life is going to be that way. There is sometimes going to be a winner but they also need to learn to work together. So this one was really great. You have to get the owls back into their nest by the, before the sun comes up. And that's the little thing. This is also an environmentally friendly game. Sneaky snacky squirrel game. They are so in love with this game and it works. They have to work on fine motor skills. They have to work on counting, color recognition, um, just a lot of different skills with this little Dora doll. Um, but she closes her eyes and you, she came with a little book and a little brush. Monster puppet thing. So basically it's just a blank purple hand puppet that comes with a gazillion little different parts. That, but they're all Velcro so you can make your own monster. This VTech Fin and Learn Adventure Globe. They really like this. Every picture that you see on here is a little button and you can do it on quiz mode or learning mode and you can learn a different different songs from different countries. You can learn what um, people wear, what sport is kind of representative of the country, um, what animals come from those countries. They've got quiz mode, a learning microscope. These are um, the learning microscope comes with a little box of slides. Each one has a little code. These little blue are letters, so this would be AAB. You can put the slide into the microscope and then you type in the code on each thing. You can listen to facts or you can quiz yourself. It's a pretty cool little thing. A um, talking telescope, so it has this little spy telescope that comes off um, and then it has kind of the same like microscope type of deal and then it has a drawer of slides these slides none of these are insects they're all about space and animals at different parts of the world but this I do like that it has a drawer of slides instead of having a box of slides they got a bat with a ball and a tea the tea actually like moves so that if they hit the ball hard enough it kind of goes down and then comes back up. It's meant to be a practice tee for kids who actually play and it goes up pretty high. I can actually practice with it. It's a little low for me but I can actually practice with it. And some other clothes. They got some other clothes that are in the wash. Okay so since I said that I was so in love with the beautiful Oops book I figured if you'd like to stick around I will read it for you. So it says Oops a torn piece of paper which is actually torn is just the beginning. Every spill has lots and if you see it has like it's a bunch of puppies and lots platypus platypuses of possibilities. An elephant. Bent paper, the corner is bent over, is something to celebrate. A little drip of paint lets your imagination run wild and it's the little piggies. A scrap of paper can be fun to play with. A smudge and a smear can make magic appear. A stain has potential if you play with its shape. Holes in your paper are worth exploring. Here's the thing, it 
pull accordions out. Let me see if I can actually get you to see it. See? When you think you have made a mistake, oops, think of it as an opportunity to, opportunity to make something beautiful. And this is a crumpled up piece of paper. Piece of paper. So that's my pin of the day and birthday haul and a book reading for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. I am so sorry that it is 10 and a half minutes long, but that's when you get when you combine videos. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you for a shorter video tomorrow. Bye.